Hi folks, I'm Joe Blar, founder of Carbonex. These are uh, car hoods, uh, sport vehicle hoods, and uh, ATV hoods, our most popular parts. So, as you guys know, Carbonex focuses on uh, affordable parts, uh, carbon parts and finishes. It's, uh, it's what's gotten our name out there to the world. What we have here is parts in progress. They are being vacuum bagged and sanded and then painted. Sport vehicle parts have more sophisticated shapes and it's much more labor intensive than ATV parts. So these parts are definitely more costly. However, we have found ways to make it more affordable and um, that's what gets us in the market. The difference between um, ATV parts and car parts in terms of uh, finishes, the car community enjoys uh, a luxury finish, which um, they, they, they don't really like compromises in, in their parts. So we're figuring out ways to make it super affordable for carbon parts on cars. However, it's very challenging, but we will figure it out. And for ATV parts, we have mostly uh, figured out our market and um, we're, we're still there. So thanks to all the customers who support that and appreciate the affordable service. We will have definitely more more parts for different uh, machines in the future, but right now we're determining by market forces, we, we go towards what sells. When people order custom parts, it, the price is determined by the sophisticated shapes. The compromise is uh, finish, as uh, most customers know. The higher the finish, definitely the more costlier the part will be. Most of our customers want the lowest price uh, possible, so we're, it's a dilemma between high price, low price, medium price. And th thankfully, we have cool customers, so we always work it out. After parts get sanded, obviously here, it's called uh, lamination or resin pouring over the top of it, which creates the gloss and the, the smooth texture that everyone feels. Carbon fiber is a composite material, which means like sandwiched in between resin and that's what makes it a composite it's a matrix one of the strongest material currently uh, known to, to to man and getting more advanced and um, we're, we're here to make that affordable and uh, to bring it to everyday enthusiasts to make carbon fiber it goes through a process um, a multi multi-step process first it's uh, creating a mold or laying it in a mold then Parts get in something called a vacuum bag, which presses the fibers and the resin into that mold, and it retains that shape as it gets heated up, which is uh, very energy consuming and uh, costly, which uh, applies to the to the cost uh, tremendously in most parts, even small parts. Why sometimes they're very costly is the the amount of uh, energy consumed just to create a small part. It, it's what drives the price uh, very high. And um, sometimes you may see a small part the same price almost as a car hood because it's, it's, it's energy intensive. So we're, we're trying to figure out ways to make all of that affordable and, uh, and that's why uh, Ucarbonex uh, was made. Also a great thing about carbon is it's uh, strength properties. It can be adjusted in many ways. Uh, it's determined by layers and the orientation of the fibers. It uh, could flex in ways you want and flex in, in ways you don't want. Also, the purpose of, of fairings and hoods, as many people know, is to streamline the air and, and, and instead of it hitting um, the parts in the frame and stuff, and, and, and that's what fairings are for. So our customers are they're willing to compromise for heavy finishes that, that look like a mirror and want a super light part. And um, that, that's where Ucarbonex uh, leads the industry too, is in super light parts with uh, a small compromise in the finish, but parts still perform uh, pretty good. A, a big challenge in the carbon fiber industry is, is the finishings on carbon. Ucarbonex is known for super affordable parts and uh, affordable finishes too. Uh, something that customers, some know, some don't, is the finishing is a very expensive process on, on composite parts. It's, it's probably one of the most expensive processes about it in general. And um, it's something that uh, we're all working on to, to improve and eventually we, we may get there where the finishes are, are top end and super affordable. However, it takes a lot of uh, experimenting and trial and error. We, we also, there's some customers that aren't satisfied with the, comp, with the compromise in the finish and uh, the super lightness of it. 
So we refer them to other shops that, that provide that service of, of ultra high finish. Um, however, some our customers could also send our parts after they receive them to paint shops and, and pay the price for a, a ultra high finish. I know they will eventually get uh, hit by obstacles and you know it's time to replace them. Uh, that's what creates a business. Each, each layer of gloss is it's extremely expensive. It, it, it lands in at least in the 500s to the thousands and it's if, if you want a super light part there there's always a chance you may have to compromise in the finish because the gloss uh, gets heavy uh, between each layer and uh, I myself enjoy super light parts. Color dyes are available for carbon parts which make it look uh, pretty cool. It, it, instead of it being black and gray we can uh, adjust it to to orange, purple, green. Um, purple is one of the most popular color dyes out there and it, it, it's a great it's a great product to have on most machines it also adds uh, value when reselling and it also encourages um, this the sale of machines and, and possibly may help you sell something that may not have sold uh, if it didn't have carbon fiber so it, it's I recommend using carbon fiber on most machines and um, it's a great material.